Hello everybody, Alcrax here, and welcome to another Mercenary Thoughts from the Inner Sphere, episode 272. And today we're going to be talking about the Sturmfear. Yes, the 85-ton vehicle that's running around kind of like twice the size of, a, well, a hunter tank. But not as fast. Definitely not as fast. Alright, the Sturmfear is like i said 85 tons it's basically an assault tank or heavy tank however you want to call it it's a 350 it has an internal combustion engine zero heat sinks doesn't need them because of the weapon systems on board carries around uh 13 and a half tons or i think it's about 13 and a half tons no 19 and a half tons sorry uh, 312 so basically you got the same armor value as a atlas yeah this thing's a roaming little uh, pillbox and it, usually it does get uh <clears throat> i couldn't find the pictures of the ones i have uh have painted in the past so yeah well it is what it is it's someplace hidden away and uh being a 350, well, doesn't move very fast, doesn't take very long before it becomes a, a immobile pillbox. Yeah, weapon systems, which is interesting here. We have an LRM 20 in the turret, we have an LRM 20 in the front, which really is on the back. You, if you look at the picture of one of these things, on the back deck, you have the missile launcher that shoots over top the turret. And it has uh, three tons of ammo, so basically nine um, salvos for the LRM-20. It's really not that much. And then it uh, has a pair of machine guns in the turret and one ton of ammunition. Yeah. Okay. My... my oh. One of the first things I always did with this thing is uh, drop the machine gun ammo to a half and take a half ton of armor and give it another ton of uh, ammunition. That's one thing I always done is like, yeah, I want a little bit more ammo. So 12 shots per launcher. Actually, I've been times when we've used this, it ran out of ammo with that build. So, yeah, it definitely needs more ammo. But it is a slow-moving vehicle. It, it works pretty good, especially if you have a lance of these things, considering they come in at a hefty 1,400 battle value. Yeah, they're expensive. Uh, you're getting up there into assault mech uh, battle value and for succession wars. So I would say, yeah, it's probably to your benefit Instead of taking one of these things, you're better off just taking an assault mech, but you know, or a heavy mech. Yeah, the firepower is probably a little bit better, so they don't get used very often because they're just too expensive for what they bring to the table. But uh, with a couple of LRM 20s, though, to be honest, you might be better off taking a couple of hunter tanks and use them as your fire support. And save yourself some battle value to use for something else. You know, that thing. You could almost, uh, for the two of these things, you can bring in a lance of hunters. Or a couple good mechs. Just to be honest. Just saying. Uh, other than that, is like you park one of these things in some good high ground, good field of view. And you sit there and just uh, empty out the ammo bays. And when the ammo's gone, you turn around and drive away. You know, that type of deal. That's pretty much how these things work. And they have a heck of a time, though. It's like when it comes to uh, somebody getting in close. If you get a, say, a scout mech that gets up close to them and to their uh, rear deck and uh, 
within their minimum range, these things die quickly. That's been my experience. It's like, and they don't have the speed to get away either. They're just kind of trudging along. And they turn their, uh, their turret towards them and hope that the machine gun might be able to and then dead fire. Kind of like dead firing their the missile launchers if they have any ammo left in them towards whatever offending thing that's uh, picking on them. And hope that their lance mates are far enough away to uh, help them out. So that's pretty much it when it comes to the, the standard Sturm Fear. It's an interesting vehicle, but I, it's just, I think there's better choices out there. Now, there are a few uh, variants of this vehicle. There's the heavy Gauss version. This one takes the LRM-20s off and places one of them with an LRM-10 with Artemis, an ER medium laser, which is an ER medium laser, uh, and it also carries around a fusion reactor. So it got rid of the internal combustion engine for a fusion, so that's not a big deal. Uh, you got the, the heat sinks to play around with it. And personally, I think I'd rather, this is me, if you're going to keep the LRM, 10 drop the artemis and give me another er medium laser instead instead of the artemis so that's kind of like how i look at that but the interesting thing is that it carries around a heavy gauss rifle on the front slope and so it replaces one of the missile launchers for a heavy gauss rifle and a heavy gauss rifle is a heavy uh weapon system you know, you're talking, I think it's 23 tons or something like that all together, wrapped up in that thing. Yeah. Yeah, it does some good damage if it hits. If it hits. But if you got somebody that's got some good movement modifiers on it, yeah. I'd say it's odds are, it's like my experience is I've, I don't think I've ever seen the heavy Gauss rifle hit anything. You know, your, your mileage may vary, but, you know, you're going out there with some problems with it. And that's pretty much it when it comes to the heavy Gauss rifle version. Yeah. So it's a, uh, I'd say it's more inclined to be your bodyguard for the rest of the other Storm Fears. Or, so you got those guys running around and then this guy would be up your close personal bodyguard. Now another bodyguard version is the SRM version. Uh, this is your standard internal combustion engine version. It carries around four, yes, four SRM-4s and then three machine guns. So basically, you severely handicap the uh, weapon systems on it by stripping off the, um, the weapons off and then you turn around and give it SRMs. So, yeah, I don't remember seeing anywhere where it's like kept a LRM-20 and then take one of the LRM-20s off, replace it with SRM-4s. You know, it's like what did, what's it do with all the extra tonnage on that thing? I don't know. It's hard to, that's a question to be asked. Because if you strip off two LRM-20s, you're going to be carrying around more than just four SRM-4s. There's got to be a uh, extra weapon system hidden around someplace in there. But it's like even more armor? Yeah, that's r ridiculous. You could easily just carry four SRM-6s and still have plenty of space left over for, I'd say, an LRM-10 maybe. I should look into that. And a battle value, once again, is running up about 1400 so not necessarily a great deal. It's like you got uh, lighter vehicles and mechs that come in for half the price with better weapon systems. Then we have the Word of Blake version. Now we get into some interesting things here. We've got a light fusion engine. All right, so they took... Standard fusion engine or a turtle combustion engine put on the light fusion engine, so it's a little lighter. Uh, the weapons removed and replaced the forward firing 
LRM20 with Artemis20. Okay. Has B pods for anti infantry work. And it also has a C3 improved computer. Carries a tag system, two ER medium lasers, and a pair of MML9 launchers with Artemis. Uh, and it has a ton of ammunition for the LRM20 and two tons for the MML9s. One SRM, one LRM. So you got the extended range basically, and then you got your uh, SRM version. Interesting. Uh, I just sit there and think about it. It's like, would you have been better off going with four MML9s instead of the LRM20? And then share your um, ammunition between them all? And the things that make you think, go, hmm, you know. I always think about it that way. And instead, you know, this comes in on 1600 battle value. So you're looking at something that's pretty expensive, too. A lot of high-tech uh, stuff on it. But you are looking at the improved C3 computer and tag in your E or medium lasers. So even with an LRM-20, you know, personally, if you're going to keep the LRM-20, I'd be more inclined to drop um, to the B pods um, off and then look at adding another ton of ammunition for that because six shots with an LRM20 eh, no it's, that's just not enough I'd rather have another ton of ammunition for it at least 12 shots keep it in the game longer and the same thing goes with you know it's like you get the MMLs, okay, fine, yeah, they got some, a lot of ammunition with that, but you also, at long range, your LRM-20 is going to be your hard hitter uh, between the, uh, versus the MML, so, now when you get in close, obviously the MML with SRM ammo is going to do more damage, but, you know, there you go. I just something that makes me just go, huh. It's like I'm not really happy with that design. And yeah, you're you're taking basically the uh machine guns and replacing them with B pods, but mm, I'd rather just give me a flamer instead or something of that nature. And put it in a turret because how often do you have infantry coming in from four different directions? And once you burn out the pod. What, what, what? All right, then we have the last version, which is the Kalki Cruise Missile Launcher production prototype. Yeah, production version of this ver uh, is completed with an experimental version. Many components of, were reused, and the chassis has been updated to 150 tons. <laughs> yeah, <coughs> that's huge. Improved fuel cell, uh, mag shots for protection. It has a crew missile 50 launcher on board. And it has uh, 7 tons of ant, um, armor on board. Basically, it's like a big giant missile launcher. Shoots out a big missile. There you go. Uh, to be honest, uh, coming out at 1100 battle value. I've never used the cruise missiles uh, before. Um, I don't think I've ever seen a cruise missile system ever used in a game before. So that's to be, on be honest. I'm not sure exactly how it works. Unless it acts like a um, 50 missile thing. When it hits, it does, it does it do 50 points of damage spread out. I don't know. I, it is something I've never ever ever seen used so somebody tells me it's like i'm too lazy right now to even look at look it up see figure out what it is even where to locate it in the game in the books but yeah that's interesting to think about it uh different different addition to the game system all right so that is it in a nutshell uh now, personally, 
what I've done in the past, I've seen done in the past, is you take the standard version, drop the LRM 20s for 15s, take the tonnage savings, and maybe another ton of uh, armor off of it, which, you know, when you got 300 tons, 300 points of armor plus, you can lose one ton of armor off this thing and then give it another uh, LRM 15. <coughs> so it's running around with three of them. And actually, you're doing more damage. And if you really want to uh, get a, uh, I don't call it, put a fusion engine on it, and the time you save there can also make it so you have three LRM 15s instead. And it's uh, a little more useful, uh, per se. So that's kind of what has gone through my head or thought about when I was looking at this uh, vehicle. So that's it. That's the Sturm Fear. Hope you guys like it. Like and subscribe. Share with friends. And we'll see you in the next one. Alcrex out.